So today we are working for a client in Manchester. We are filming these two uh, towers behind us um, for a development company. They are replicating the exact same sort of two types of towers next to us to the right hand side here. So first things first, we're going to get a few drone shots uh, whilst the weather's on side because um, I think we're expecting a bit of a bit more cloud coverage shortly. So we're trying to get up quickly, get first drone shots in the bag. Oh, hey, that did not sound good. That did not sound good at all. That needs investigating. Oh, God. Right, should we send for the backup drone? Yeah, I think so. Let's get some uh, lunch. What have we got, lad? What's for lunch? <laughs> we've got some chicken baguette, baguettes. No, we've got lot. Hey. Now we're talking. <laughs> it didn't have any red ones though, oh, so we're gonna have to no. surprise with the green, but you know, one for our one for our, you know. Not allowed to say the word, but that's uh, I've treated us to a meat snack. Well, that's right. So good. um we're all set. I've got three. We're having a bit of a break, aren't we? Because um we're just yeah. waiting for now Nelly's on a rescue mission, um just dropping off some extra kit well, for I'll us. Tell, I'll fill you I'll fill you in, tell you what's happened today because um We've had a bit of a problem with the old Inspire, the workhorse. Um, we've had it for, I think we've had this one for about three years now. Um, this is our second Inspire, the first one. Uh, rest her soul. Oh, rest its soul. Did, didn't make it. Um, it was involved in an incident. We just seagull. noticed as we were taking off, um, not as we were taking off, sorry, as we were putting the props on, what we usually do is we check the all the motors are freely spinning and there's no signs of any noise. But when we were turning this one, we could hear that there was something maybe stuck inside the, the, the motor, what sounds like a small stone or something, and it was catching. Seems fine now, except when you turn it on its side, you can still hear it. So I think the thing that was in there has got even deeper into the motor. So... For safety's sake, we are not flying this Inspire today. However, Nell is on a rescue mission for us. She is on the motorway currently doing 71 miles per hour. Here's Nell to save the day. <laughs> it's all for the story, this really. Now, this drone's fine. I know, yeah, this was just... This was just an idea we come up with. I mean, it hardly fit in the blooming car. Good do you girl. want to take it Sorry, out Sorry, Nell, do you want to? No, we can't just, just let... I'll have to No, we can get the shot. No, no, we get the shot no, of Nell taking the massive no, pally no, case it's out. Not fair. <laughs> it's not it fair. It is, actually. It's a bit of a... See, I'm... Oh, Christ, well done, now. I'd never get a pram in here. Oh, my God! <laughs> Bloody hell, Adam, what on earth have you got in there? It's horrific, isn't it? This it's is a... Lens Lifters Inspire uh, 3.0, this one. <laughs> Um, this is our third one. She's named Bessie. <laughs> Bessie, Bessie the reserve drone. What we like to do as soon as we land the drone is to take out the SD card. Uh, we take out the SD card because if we were have, to have an incident in the air and lose the SD card with all the footage on, then we're snookered. So every time we land, we take the SD card out 
and we're going to back it up with the DJI Copilot Lacey today. So this is the backup solution that we use on set. This is the um, Lacey DJI Copilot Boss. Uh, which is a backup on set solution. Um, it is an incredible bit of kit. So it's essentially a hard drive, a power supply. And if you have a look here, it's an SD card reader. So we take the SD card out of the drone, put it directly into the boss. And with this button here, initiate a copy command so we can copy the data straight away. As soon as the SD card goes into here, we copy the data and then within about two minutes of having landed, uh, we have two copies of the data. We can't be trusted with single copies, can we, Ollie? No, we can't be trusted with single copies. It's, been, uh, it's we, happened too many times and then we blame each other and uh, <laughs> nobody's a winner. So we, the we only thing is to, is to do is to make as many copies as you can. So this is how we use the Lazy Boss. Over to you. You simply just put it in your SD card adapter find your SD card slot on the Lacey and pop it in. Simple as that. The Lacey will ask to be powered up if it's not already. And I don't know if you can see in the light, but it says copy. Copy once, press the button. If you don't want to copy, you hold the button down. Simply gonna copy. That's it. You should be able to see from the shot that we're showing you now how close Manchester city centre is to here. We're actually in a different city. This city is Salford on the other side of the River Irwell. Halfway through in between these buildings, uh, there's a river called the River Irwell which splits the city of Manchester and the city of Salford. We're currently on the Salford side, but as I say, it's maybe a five minute drive to the city centre of Manchester. So it's not, it's not a bad place to, uh, it's not a bad place to be. Last shot of the day. What was that manoeuvre? Oh. That was my clean, the, clean the remote controller. So that is it. Data's copied, everything on that SD card is now on the uh, backup on set solution. Um, so we've got two copies and as soon as we get back to base we'll make a third uh, as we copy off that hard drive uh, onto our RAID drives and after that uh, the backups end up in the cloud. My only criticism of the Lacey Boss is that it has a standard uh, mechanical hard drive in so a literal hard disk drive it's a, a two and a half inch laptop hard drive I think. Now uh, Lacey do have an SSD version of that and I think for us that's going to be the way forward in the future. We just love the way this works but it does have the weakness of it being a mechanical hard drive. We have dropped drives before, lost the data on the drive and then tried to forensically take them apart haven't we in the kitchen uh, and it in is. the office. Uh, I think that has to be done in a sterile room with no dust and we were there with little, um, tiny little screwdrivers trying to take got this close. thing apart. We did get close. We got close, but I, as I pulled it apart, broke all the ribbon cables, so. I think the contacts have got to line up. Just <laughs> It was a hopeless attempt at data recovery, but Lacey do now have uh, an SSD version, operates in exactly the same way. SD card goes in, hit copy, and it transfers that data onto an SSD, which would also save us time, not only in copying the data at this end and creating that backup, but it'll also make it much faster in terms of offloading when we get back to the edit, putting it onto that RAID drive, creating that third copy. Anyway, enough about data. I think that is it for today's vlog. Uh, it's been great to have you again. Uh, we'll be back with uh, another vlog very soon uh, but do like comment subscribe as always let us know let us know what you'd like to see in our videos we're always looking for new ideas and um, we're always looking for new beauty spots to go to or, or, or amazing stories to tell so if you can think of any ideas uh, please by all means let, let us know in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well it really really helps us and we appreciate it a lot it makes it worthwhile so we shall see you on the next video.